Hey, what's up guys? It's Star Brother here, and welcome back to day three, part two of my all-star vacation. My name is Star Brother, and of course I am joined by only one person at the present moment. T-Rex2248. Hello. Today we are at the Discovery Center of America, just like in last video. And today we are waiting in line to go into this awesome Marine US 30. 34D helicopter used although helicopters have been used in the Korean War they were first used widespread in the basis of Vietnam she's a beauty all right Falcon guided missiles. Ready to enter the helicopter, T Rex? Yeah. This is cool. She's a beauty, all right. Looks like she looks like she's seen her fair share of combat. Skin. Oh yeah, and, and, yeah. It it looks like she's uh, she's seen her fair share of combat. At least that's just what it looks like. Let's get a good old camera shot of the interior. Not that much on the inside, but then again, these weren't these things weren't meant to be pretty. They were meant to get the job done. They weren't meant to be pretty then. Let's get a good old camera angle of the cockpit. Over there. Over there, Star Ow. Brother. Like I said, these things weren't meant to be pretty. It's meant to get the job done, let me tell you that. Hey, hey, T-Rex, T-Rex. Hey. We're pilots. <laughs> All right, let's get down so we can let other people in. I want to get a selfie. Of course, T Rex 2248 has to take it out! That hurt. Like I said earlier, guys, these things weren't meant to be pretty. They were meant to get the job done. Ow, I am too tall for this. Yes, yes, you are. Star Brother is too tall for this. This is a shot from one of the. These are shots from some of the windows. You can see some of the other stuff we reviewed in the last video. Yeah, long line of uh, military military history. My, a lot of members of my family served, so. It's definitely good to be seeing some of the things that some of my ancestors used. All right, well, let's head upstairs. We've seen all we can see down here. Here's some of the propaganda. You notice that a big old airplane up there hanging from the little ceiling. We have. Right, here's the better shot of the Wright Brothers plane. Now, although it was the first plane ever to fly, it was not the first plane ever designed. It was not the first plane ever designed, and trust me, it was not comfortable. I can see it wasn't comfortable. Cool. Not really that much to see in this room, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in here. We got an overshot of the race cars again. We have we have the Plymouth down there. The uh, plane hanging above you is the P-37, the, the, I mean the P-17 Sherman is the plane that is 
the plane, the hanging plane. And uh, so we're just sardines in there. Since that time, there has never been a time that I he read the World War gun, Victor's a machine gun. With World War One and Two, there was a lot of new technology. So, they, so people were just, so the countries were waiting to to die. They were like ready to try this stuff out on on each other. So. Here we have some uniforms, some machine guns. Here we have one of my favorite guns, the 50 caliber machine gun. She could mow down infantry for days. Have a signal light used on aboard ships to signal themselves. Come on, T-Rex. This is the mission, so I'm going to finish the mission. Good Here we have some more guns and stuff, and some more uniforms. The beginning of air combat, the first tanks in action. Some stuff used in the First World War. Ah, then. Here we have the German U-boats. A little bit of information about the German U-boat. Is a um, model of the Battle of Union City. All right, T Rex, we gotta go. Let's go. Here we go into one of my favorite wars of the American history, the Civil War. The war against slavery, as some people called it, although it wasn't really about slavery, it was about preserving the Union. But that's not something we need, really need to worry about. Here's a model of the Monitor and Merrimack. The, the city class ironclad. And this is what inside of a tank is. This is not a tank. This is what the inside be of one of the first metal ships designed for. The ironclad. Monitor and Merrimack was the first time two, sh two steel ships ever went in combat. Because at this point, because at that point, everybody had thought steel ships would sink to the bottom. Well, this, well, that, well, that innovative uh, battle proved them all wrong. Okay, now that we get, now, now we get out of the military and so we, we enter into the Native American area of the, uh, the Discovery Center. More favorite areas. This is one of T-Rex's biggest likes about history. He loves Native Americans. Some of the artifacts there are. Oh yeah, Nate, your favorite um, time period war Comment below. Nah, do it. What are you doing? Oh, geez, that scared me. Can you get that shot? No, a lot of 
There is something you need to remember about ironclads. See, that they actually were timber timber ships in the same old old way it's been done mm -hmm. for, forever, but they yeah. were they were just clad in iron. Now, now later in the 1870s, steel hulls came came into being, so they were actually were were built of steel. Thank you for that, sir. Uh, the uh, the Virginia was actually a uh, a. Uh, a Union frigate that had been burned to the waterline, and, and the Confederates rebuilt the top end with, right. with the iron. I, I knew that story. Okay. My my history teacher told me about it. All right. As we leave the Native American part of the uh, oh, nice. Discovery Center. Take a look at some of these. Here we have the northern pine snake. Got some snakes. She's a female. Which one? She's a northern pine snake. I don't know, they had names, ma'am. Uh -huh. And this is Steve. You don't mind being recorded, do you? No, no. Okay, I, I'm, I'm I'm doing a vlog for my channel, so. Okay, this Just... is Steve. He's a corn snake. And then over here we have Ella, and Ella is a uh, spotted corn snake. And then we have we have Hershey down here, and I'm sorry, she's a speckled king snake. And Hershey is the eastern, no, yes, the eastern milk snake. Wow. Yeah. And he, they steal milk from cows. Ah. So, and then that's the speckled king snake. Thank you for that, ma'am. I, 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 I don't... His name is Hershey. Did I tell you that? Yes, you did. You told me her name was, his name was Hershey. Okay. Well, enjoy the rest of your visit. You too. Let's continue on with our wonderful little uh, trip. I was great she decided to help us. I really did not know what that was about. If you look over here, we look in here. Hey! It's T Rex! It's T-Rex. Let's go see what he sees. Hello. Sorry, it gets dark. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. He was right. You think you are part of the aquarium. You do feel like you're, you are a part of everything around you. Whoa. This is pretty cool. Awesome. Well, let's go. Hey there, I want to take a picture. This is quite, this is actually quite satisfying to watch. Hey, you know what they say, fish can be quite satisfying to watch. All right, let's get out of here and prepare to wrap up the video. <sighs> Would you like to go in and see the fish up close? Come here, let me show you. Right in there. That fish right there. What is it? Spotted gar. Ah, a very old fish. All right, everybody, we've reached that wonderful time again of that. We've reached that. Time again in the video that we we've reached that wonderful little 14 minute mark that means it's time to end the video here my name is star brother and it's been a wonderful to see you let's uh, let's give a round of applause for t-rex 2248 who has accompanied me to the rest of this video okay, I'm gonna like and we'll end the video with the panoramic view of all the dinosaurs And I will see you hey, all see in, the in the next video. Thank you all.
and see you all later.